Hello and welcome, welcome to Settlement Survival and welcome to the beginner series. Yes, back to basics. Um, hopefully, even I might learn something in these, these tutorials, um, but for me, um, I'm hoping that obviously you understand or you pick something up that can help you. Um, I've been asked to do by a couple of people um, how to just like basically do the basic stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it in separate bits. So today on the beginner series, we're going to just set up all the buildings that you need to start you off to get bigger. Okay, and we will go through all the way till making glass and so on. So you've come on the new map. Okay, so this this will be the new map that you would have. Um, <clears throat> you would obviously choose a place to where you put your settlement. So I chose it here. Um, the reason I've done it on this map is that if you look around, on this side there isn't any animals. Okay, um, as you can see, it's fertile, but there is no animals. On this side, there is some animals, as you can see. Um, and you need animals because you need to produce meat. Um, and that's where the biggest bit of the animals come from. And fur and dung that is poo. Okay. Um, so I've set it here. Now you will see on the maps that you'll see these fishing areas. That means that there is better fishing in that area. Um, so you get better yield. Again, you get fish anywhere. It doesn't have to be there, but you do get better yield in them. Um... <clears throat> Also, obviously, stone and uh, charcoal, as you can see here, there's quite a lot over this side. So this is why I've chosen it to be here, because they won't need to walk far enough. What you need to do in Settlement Survival, what I found, is that you don't need to get too big. <coughs> you need I'm losing my voice. You need to keep it quite compact and do it gradually. A lot of people go straight in and, hey, yeah, we have all this, we have this here. They got to walk there, they get unhappy, and then you end up losing everything, okay? So what we're going to try and do on these beginner series is just basically, as it says in the title, go back to basics. So we've got the happiness and the health that is good. Um, we need to keep them as high as possible as we go along. Um, again, you do have a trader, so going near water would be beneficial um, because we may be using the trader, and I'll show you how to use that as time goes on in these episodes so right let's get to it <clears throat> so i've put it down here this is where i'm gone here so this is your marketplace okay where you put it down there is a line that goes around it a big circle you can only build houses this is nothing else to do with anything else just houses within this circle okay um i do believe that that does some other buildings might have to be inside the circle as well, but you that is your perimeter of everything of the marketplace and all the buildings that are in it and the houses. Um, you can build other marketplaces to get bigger circles dotted all over the place, but at the moment this is this is where we're going to start. So this is what we're starting with. <clears throat> so you've always got an inventory um, to the right. We've got Brittany who's in there, um, and then this is what we've got at the moment. On the left hand side um if you haven't got it i'll get rid of it but you can do the resource monitor so you can manage monitor what you've got and at the moment what we got is what's <clears throat> in there okay so we're quite good at the moment that will obviously disappear as time goes on um next to it is statics so you can actually see the town overview the structure overview um <clears throat> This will tell you all the buildings that are getting really close to breaking down that need repairing or rebuilding. Um, production overview, so you can see what you're producing um, and how many people are eating that sort of certain product. Um, stock management. So we've got stock management here. So again, it's a bit like that, but in a, in a longer resource thing. So medicine. You can really narrow it down to actually specific ones. Population graph, that is obviously 
um, the populations are how many adults, students, children that are in your settlement. And you've got collection. <clears throat> so collection is different animals that you've got that you can already, they're sort of tamed if you like, um, that you've already got there that you can start eating um, livestock from. Okay, and then you've got the crops um, that are basically seeds on what you can actually plant in your area. Um, and then that's it for that one. Uh, map monitor. So the map monitor will basically, it tells you what is, I mean, to be fair, I never really use it, to be fair. I don't think we'll go into that because I don't think we actually need, really need to use that. Menus and game settings. Obviously your town that is there, you can change that if you really want to. Um, and then the city stress, okay. So city stress <clears throat> Is everything about how many jobs there are, how many pe what people are doing. Um, it, it covers the whole of the city on the city stress. Um, and then obviously here, when you click this here, you can see your statics. So everyone that's in your village and who they are and what they're doing. So we've got, got quite a few children. Obviously, they're going to get older. And then obviously, they're going to need to be put in as a labour or doing something as a job. So our total population is 30. We've got 16 male, 14 female. We've got one worker, three builders, no fixers at the moment, and we've got 16 labourers. Now, labourers are the ones that will go out and pick up stuff. So if you ask them to cut stuff down, they're the ones that are going to come and cut stuff down. Um, <clears throat> and we've got 10 that are underage. And our fertility rate is 93%, so they're quite, they're quite you know, good. Um, so laborers <clears throat> that's that technology so as you go along in settlement survival you have to unlock certain things okay i will show you as we go along what ones are better to unlock in my opinion it doesn't mean it's right it's just in my opinion um but yeah you can unlock stuff as you go along as you can see here there's a technology points so we've got five at the moment so we can actually unlock five things that if we want to here we don't want to do that yet because we don't need to do that um, but yeah, we've got five points that we could do with doing that. Um, coins. So as you progress and you unlock stuff, you can actually unlock a shop. Now, your citizens will go to the shop, spend coins, money, um, on products, and buy them from your shop. Um, so chunks of meat or anything you really want to put in there. Um, and you get silver coins, okay? So silver coins are very, very good for... Um, buying stuff from the trader so you can use the coins to buy from the trader itself um, some things are easier to get from the trader um, so yeah you can you can buy animals are quite expensive but um, you won't do that early ages early stages because <clears throat> that's just too much um, again that is obviously the current temperature and then you've got January March is the time for planting. You can increase or decrease the numbers of farmers according to the food reserves. So we're in the winter here. So obviously at the moment they won't do nothing. But we are getting to the summer here. Okay, so cold is winter. This is the summer. And this is the autumn. Um, and obviously that logo there is immigrants arriving. So you get around about 10, 11 or 12 immigrants. Um, depending on what level you're playing. Um, as this is a beginner series, this is actually on um, easy. Um, so, and that's the one that I assume that you'll be playing on to start with. So, right, let's crack on, shall we? Let's get rid of that. So, this is what we've got here. So, we've got our marketplace. We've got some turkeys there as well, but we've got this overall thing here. So, th there isn't really no right way of doing this. So, roads is down here. Dirt road, stone road. Okay, so citizens walk 50% more quicker on a stone road than they do on a dirt road. But stone roads are quite expensive and we've only got 100. So in the game, construction material means stone. It's a bit weird, but that's, that's what it means. Um, so we're just going to dirt road it at the moment. So we're going to come from here. I'm going to put one road there. And we're going to go one road here, one road there, and around. Right. Okay, so the game's still on pause. 
what we do need to do is we need to clear the area so we can see a little bit better. Um, so we go down to this little axe down here. Um, and then you can do just the trees. Gather all. So everything that you put in a line, it'll gather all of it. You can gather rocks, gather plants, or you can you can prioritise stuff or halt stuff. So we're going to just do everything because we need everything to be covered. And we're gonna we're gonna start this on number two so they can actually start going. Here they go. So they will start to put that down in this area here. They're gonna start building the roads, okay? Now wh where you get to the situation is that obviously we're in winter, we're getting quite cold, and they haven't got any houses. So we need to start thinking about doing houses before we start really doing anything else. Now the houses is just obviously the house icon. And then just house. Now one house will hold four people in it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to pop it there. 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 And there. Now if you try and put it here. The houses can only be built within the marketplace. Like I was saying earlier. So it's got to be in here. Okay. So we found new crop seeds. So that's that's good. So what do we find? I think we found some pecan trees or oat seeds. We might have found some oat seeds. Can't remember what we had before. Okay, so that is great. So they need a road in front. Obviously, the yellow yellow arrows is where they actually enter the house. So we will do that. Let's just do that circle around there, and then we're back to back them with other houses. So. Once they're going to start building that, they will crack on with that. What we need to do now is now we need to think. At the moment, we're okay with what we got, but we will soon run out of that. So we need to think. Mm, why? Well, let's get some firewood going because obviously we need to keep warm. On easy, you get quite a lot of it to start with. Um, I'm playing an extreme difficulty where you just don't get anything, um, so it is it is quite hard. Um, you will see also, as you can see down here, an extremely rare idle chick appeared. Now, that you can get some really rare animals, but if you breed them, you get much, much higher yield. Like, you get a lot of food from them. Um, so, that is worth keeping an eye on that. Now, to get animals. So, how do, how do you get animals? Well, the next step for us is going to be, if I can find it, there it is, a hunter's hut. Okay, so you can see if I zoom out there, you've got a lighter circle around it, right? That is basically the diameter of everything that's in it they will get. Now, a lot of people put them quite close to their main area. You don't really want to do that so much. For me, I'm going to put this actually on line level with this. There you go. So I'm going to put that there. Now that's going to get built. If I want to make that quicker, so I want them to build it much quicker, it would be the up arrow here. And as you can see, there's be an icon on top of it that is facing up. So we close that. And we close that for the minute. So they are chopping that down. Let's just speed it up just a tad. So they're going to start building that. We've got houses, so that's going to be starting building. Um, and now what we're going to do, that should, that's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we have a population of 30. So we will need to build another couple. That is fine. We can do that. So let's dirt road that. And that can go up there as well. We will dirt road going into this. That is excellent. And that will be to that. Right, so we need to clear this little area here. Now, what you will find is that Hunting lodges are better um, when there's some trees around them. Actually, the animals come much quicker, um, so it is it is better to try and keep them with a lot some trees around them. 
Um, as you can see, we are running out of storage here. So we need to go to this. We need to go to the storage yard. And we need to build some more storage. So we will do that there. Just pushing it down and making it bigger. So they will start using that as storage. Now, if you want to, you can actually... Um, redo do it you can capitalize on it later on in the game where you only want stone there or you only want certain stuff at the beginning we we won't do that because we haven't unlocked it yet we have got five points so um we can unlock stuff when we actually need to um so we are at what are we doing for the wood so we got we got wood we're good with the wood all right let me just get rid of this so we can see what's going on this has been prioritised, so these will slow down because I've prioritised this to be built. As you can see, we've got some animals here, so hopefully the hunting lodge will get them as quick as possible. Um, some of the kids have obviously got older and they've gone into being a labourer. As I say, if you, if you can't remember what's what and who's done what, then there's 22 labourers at the moment, and there's 22 labourers because we haven't got anything else. There's no other jobs available. Um, so let's put a little farm in, shall we? So as you can see here, you've got a standard field, or you've got a field. Okay. So these are two different things. So this... You can grow crops, farmers sow in spring and harvest in autumn. You have four seeds, okay? So a field is not specifically different on that, but a field you do yourself. A standard field, it's already done for you, okay? So we're just going to use a standard field because it fits in here quite nicely. And then I'm going to use that to do that. And then we're going to put a little road in there so that is built so what you do here you'll get a question mark on a field that you've done all you need to do is click the field and it'll tell you who's working there and you can choose the crops that you want to do so they will automatically start producing them um if you want say you wanted another person in there you take that cross out and then push the green and then any laborer that is available will become in that position um Later on, there's remodels that we will go into much later on um, in the episodes of the beginner series, Back to Basics. Um, so they're going to start doing that. So this one here, we click it. It's got three because they put extra in because it's a bigger field, but we're not going to do that. So we've got oats, or we've got some more vegetables. We're going to grow some broccoli in that one. So they're going to start growing that so we're producing food so that's the main thing as you can see we have got food and that's what it narrows down so we're going to get more um but if we were really short on food and there's 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 an issue then what we could do to save ourselves is get a fishing dock um now a fishing dock will take planks um as you can see there so it, you, it will let you build it. It's just that you won't have any planks to actually build it. Um, so let's go to our development points. So agriculture is there. At the moment, I wouldn't worry too much about that side of it. Um, what you need at the moment is probably construction. So you need the sawmill. So let's activate the sawmill. Um, that I, I would go for the soap um, and then obviously the police station and education research and skin that's what I would do at the moment because what we need and what you'll find is once you've unlocked them there will be a green a green a little red icon little red circle at the bottom that means that there's some new ones that's been added so what we're going to do is that we're going to add this here so this is our sawmill okay this will use wood to go into planks we need this for the fishing let me just remove that road a bit make it look a bit neater 
Um, so yeah, we we need that to oh, didn't get rid of it. <coughs> there he is. We need that for planks, and you need planks for your uh, fishing dock if you need to do the fishing. Again, if you click a building, you'll see how many people are in it. We're going to use two people there, so they hunt better. Um, we're getting our fields on, so our fields are working really well. So that is good. Um, and you'll see that you have different things that come down here and you click it. So this is a little scenario if you like. A bunch of drunk guards were lighting the campfire and holding a party near the sea. Unexpectedly, they started to argue about which wine was better and asked others and you to judge. So you can choose one. Whiskey is better. Some disapprove of this answer and brought out loads of medical liqueur for others to appreciate. Because you did that, you got 200. Okay, and as you can see here, we got 200 alcohol. So this has only just been added in to the game quite recently. Um, different little scenarios come up and depend on your answer is what you get. Um, so yeah, that's 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 pretty good. Um, right, so this will not build, and there's a reason behind it. It is, as you can say, if you click it here, there's not enough stone. We've only got one out of 40, so there is no stone. Um, so we need to go down here. We need to gather rocks, and we need to find stone. So there's some stone here. There's loads here. So let's get them gathering some stone. And then they will gather that and produce that. So off they go to do that. We will speed it up just a tad. Again, if you don't do anything that's happiness and, and they don't like, then you your happiness will come go down and then there'll be certain problems with them later on. So we've got a goose and we've got a turkey so that is great. Um, we've just acquired. So we're going to add that now. So again, we go down to the food hotkey, and then the pasture. And then we will add this in here. So that we need <clears throat> building. Again, we still need to build another house because there's an, someone there with an icon that is homeless. So we will add the houses here. And we'll keep the houses going up and then going to the left to make it nice and neat so we can actually see what we're doing and what we got. <clears throat> the sawmill is being produced. Um, you need to keep an eye on what we've got. So we haven't got any firewood. So what we need to do is get a... <clears throat> we, we need well. Now, wells can be placed anywhere you like in your settlement. Some people put them near the fields. <clears throat> the fields don't even need the water, so um, it doesn't need to be done there. What I would suggest, they would go close to the actual housing buildings. So we are going to put them, we're going to put it up there. <clears throat> right, so what we we are looking for is, and I can never remember where it is. There it is, a chopping house. So a chopping house is firewood. <clears throat> so we will put that here. Um, <clears throat> I will try and put these sort of buildings that uses resources very close to the bottom next to where our storage is um, because they will be used from there right so again we are short on the construction material so they've just got them so they will start to build that now we've got some more we've got some construction material so they will build that so the houses are being built and we need one more house as well by the looks of it. So we will put that in as well. That's our houses. We're getting some food in. Water's low. Um, but we are building a well. So that will become another job. So as you can see here. This is available. So we come here again. It's got a question mark on it. So there's a problem. Tick that. And then we can choose the animals that we've got. So we can do the turkey, and that's going to produce meat, and it's going to produce dung, that is poo. Start slaughtering, so you can set this to how you want, depending on if you need the food quicker. So I'm going to put 10. Um, at the moment we're okay with food, we're doing the fields as well, um, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Um, we're going to just let one person deal with that. 
that's great so the whale is being done now so here comes the turkeys they will end up going in there and it wouldn't surprise me soon if we get the llamas because they're hanging around quite a lot right let's just speed this up a little tad so we can progress much quicker this is being built down here so this will become a job very very soon again the health is going down because we haven't got any health stuff so we need to build a church when we can let's just sort this out first so we get some firewood in and then we build the church for the health and that will be back to basics episode one done two citizens are thirsty again as you can see here let's click the well we've got one person doing that so there will be water eventually again if you want to it, it depends on yourself there is different ones you can do a big well or a small well um, I'm gonna do a big well here right so now you've got this here a big well you can get you can have two people a small well is only a one person job so here you've got a question mark and this is this is what you want to choose so you've got timber that can they can transfer into domestic fuel or you've got animal dried dung it needs 30 of them to do five so we go with wood at the moment so that can be starting producing again we've got the sawmill here so let's just put one person in there and again this you've got two different things so this can produce domestic domestic fuel but it uses more to do it we don't need it for that we want it for planks so that's what that's going to produce because we need planks for the fishing dock right we've still got a few people here that are um homeless so we still we do need another house so we'll stick that in and again we will need houses because we've got some more immigrants coming in now we don't need to accept them if we don't need to um right so let's have a look at the bottom here so what about the bottom here we need a clinic okay now again a clinic will only cater for the people that are in its circle so I'm going to put that there because it covers most of the area that we need. So that will help with the health and that will keep that going up as we go along. Um, it, it is very easy to get confused on what you're doing and what's happening. Um, but yeah, that's basic. So let's have a little recap <clears throat> while we wait for the water. Um, we know what to do when we first start you need the firewood so you need a firewood or a chopping house to produce firewood to keep them warm for the winter you need to extend your storage you need to build a couple of fields just to keep the food coming in um, obviously once you've cleared the area you do need a hunter's hut so they can start getting the animals and start bringing them in um, and then you'll need a pasture um, so you can start breeding the animals getting them quicker having babies so they can be slaughtered um, and then obviously you need some houses now this is the basic way in my opinion on how you start and then from here we will get bigger and we will produce more as time goes on thank you so much for joining me in this episode of settlement survival beginner series back to basics if you like the video and it has helped you and you want to see more of these then please like the video and please subscribe if you haven't in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Until next time, I do thank you so much for watching the video and I shall see you very, very soon. See you later.